Hello Dragons. My name's Lindsay and I'm here today asking for an investment of £80,000 for a 15% share in my company, Neo Walk. Now, when disability came knocking on my door, I was around your age, Sarah, and I was only 43 when I lost my leg because of an MRSA infection. And when I looked around, I saw a grey, ugly, dull world of walking sticks. And after many, many botched attempts at home, I finally made my first acrylic walking stick. And it was gorgeous and I felt confident. And now Neo Walk has over 200 different combinations of styles and patterns. And our Neo Walk family is hugely diverse from teenagers to veterans and even some celebrities. Now I've made you all your own walking stick. And if you'd like to ask any questions, I'm really happy to answer them. I can't imagine me at my age now having all of a sudden be thrown into something where you've got that debilitating feeling and and then to top all of that off, you have to get up and mm. use a plain wooden walk and stick. Yeah, it, it's a challenge and it's a big hurdle on that journey of disability, actually using mobility aids. We aim to destigmatize and normalize them. So how long since the first one came off the production line? I started the business in 2013, really just as a, a small business because I was acting and I was a circus performer as well. Can you just talk me through the numbers? 2013 and all the way through, generally, because it was just a hobby business, was around about £10,000 a year. But 2019 into 20, we turned over 13000 and then last year we turned over 70,000. And this year we are on target to turn over 200,000. So how can you take that business to the next level? Um, I don't know whether any of you have encountered an MRI scan. Because it's a magnetic machine, you're not allowed to take anything metal into the room. And I've been manhandled over to the, the scanner bed and it's really quite undignified. These walking sticks that we make are all acrylic. So we aim to access the NHS to be able to supply uh, scanner-friendly walking sticks. So how much do they sell for? They average £75. That's at retail? Yes. Uh, so what's your most expensive one? A light-up starry sky, which will retail at £119. OK, and the one you plan talking to the NHS about? W would be around £40. OK, and how much do they cost you to make at the moment? £16. Can I stop you there for a second? Have you ever cost you one of these anywhere else? Well, I, I buy the rods from China for around about £12. That's expensive. You could probably make that for 3 or $4. $5 maximum. You need to go back to China mm. and say to China, look, I'm going to be pitching this to some big players. Mm -hmm. My target price is $5. Mm. You'd be surprised. How difficult would it be if, for example, NHS caught on to your idea? Mm. What's to stop them thinking, why don't we go direct to source and buy the acrylic ourselves? How do you find a way to protect that potentially? I didn't invent the walking stick, so I, I can't patent it. But what is pending registration is the look, it's the design and it's the material and it's the colours. Yeah, I do think the opportunity is definitely moving down the volume route with many, many hospitals. But I think that the fact that you will not be able to protect somebody else from actually really doing this themselves does put a real ceiling very quickly on your business model. So sadly, I'm going to say that I'm out. Unfortunately, you haven't pitched a business to me that is viable to invest £80,000. So for that reason, I'm out. As an investor, I look at this in terms of if I deploy my capital, when, when will it come home mm. back, to, back to daddy? Mm -hmm. And I don't actually think I'll be able to get my capital back within the next five years at least. So for that reason, I applaud you, but I'm out. There's a saying in the investment community, and that is that debt is cheaper than equity. You've got a great case that you could go to the banks and say, I need a little bit of capital, and you could use that to organically grow the business in a way yeah. that would allow you to maintain 
control mm -hmm. of the business. Mm -hmm. So my advice to you would definitely be if you feel you need capital to grow the business, explore the debt route the debt before route. the equity route. So for that reason, I'm going to wish you all the best, but it's not an investment for me today and I'm out. So Lindsay, it's a really, really nice product and it would really take a stigma of a walking stick away. I almost certainly will buy one for my sister, <laughs> possibly two, but at the moment in your format, you're not the solution for the NHS because I promise you, they will find another solution that costs less than 40 pound. And therefore, I don't want to invest because all I'll do is take a bit of your business and I'm gonna sit here feeling like I've hardly made a difference. So I won't be investing, I'm out. Thank you.